Well, there is so much to discuss tonight. We're very fortunate to have as our political analyst, Fernando Espuelas, the host of Matter of Fact. Nice to see you in person. Nice to see you, Deborah. All right. Uh, you know, a sp our sports producer said to me as I walked in, this is your Super Bowl. Uh, it is. <laughs> and, and, and I know you love covering this as, yeah. as much as, as I do. So what are you looking for tonight? Well, I think the, the narrative that people are expecting is whether Hillary Clinton on the Democratic side can really shut down Bernie Sanders if she has a very good showing in these five uh, northeastern states, more or less northeastern states, uh, then there's really la uh, the lack of a narrative for Bernie Sanders to move forward. Can he mathematically reach that goal? And similarly, on the Republican side, uh, there are a lot of machinations, this deal between uh, Kasich and Cruz to essentially uh, divide the country into states each can win sure. to stop Trump. A little weird, but nevertheless, if Trump is able to overcome uh, this collusion, as he calls it, uh, and he wins these five states, then he's going to be in a very, very strong position going forward as well. It's been so chaotic on the Republican side, particularly in the last uh, 24 hours. Do you expect that chaos to continue tomorrow if he, in fact, has a clean sweep tonight, or do we move into a whole other chapter? You know, it's hard to tell because there's so many forces uh, arraigned around, uh, around him having uh, a bad uh, outcome, in other yeah. words, to take away his nomination. Uh, but I think that after today, uh, mathematically, it's impossible for Ted Cruz, if, if Trump performs, to, to win uh, on the first ballot. So basically, he will now be battling people that can't win the nomination unless there's a contested convention, which seems kind of an odd strategy to pursue. So I think Trump's hand will be much stronger going forward. All right, let's look at the, uh, Dem the Democrats. And my question to you is, um, actually today Bernie Sanders' wife Jane said that they are not going to be reassessing tomorrow. They will be not you know, taking a look mm -hmm. at where they need to go. I yeah. mean, the sense is that he still has a lot of fight in him. Mm -hmm. What do you think happens tomorrow? Well, I've been looking at some uh, stats uh, put together by Nate Silver from ESPN, and uh, essentially what has to happen is Bernie Sanders has to win. If, if today Hillary Clinton performs as expected, she wins most of these states. Uh, close to, um, I think it's 64% of, of all the remaining delegates, which is very, very hard to do. Uh, so his number becomes ever harder to reach. And, and Tad Levine, his uh, senior advisor, actually told the New York Times that they will be reviewing what to do. Not that they're going to drop out, but perhaps their rhetoric changes, perhaps their commercial strategy changes as well. With so much that we've predicted could or could not happen tonight, what do you think has the potential to be a wild card? Well, I, I think uh, uh, there, there's some, for, for either candidate, it's, it's basically the same thing, which is turnout. Uh, turnout does seem to help um, certain candidates. Certainly Trump does well with turnout. Uh, when turnout is high, he does well. Hil Hillary Clinton in certain states as well. Uh, this is just the array of states tonight are very difficult for Ted Cruz or for Kasich uh, to win. Um, will they surprise? Uh, that would be, mm -hmm. I think, the, the unexpected wild card. Because really, they all vote pretty similarly, yeah. as you indicated, except for Rhode Island. Right, right, exactly. So this is not a good day structurally for, if you're not uh, Clinton or, or um, uh, Trump, you're, it's not a good day for you necessarily. So you could only surprise on the upside. If someone gets shut out, uh, that won't be surprising in itself. It'll be just essentially a confirmation that it's really about Trump and Hillary Clinton going forward. Well, it's so interesting in Maryland because we, we've become, we've dusted off our insignificance today. And yeah. we've had so many visits in the last week and really the last two weeks. It's, uh, it's given us kind of a whole new swagger. Yeah. Well, I, I think, uh, you know, we're down now to counting a delegate here, a delegate there, and it could come down to a very close vote. So um, the the great challenge for all these candidates is to uh, overperform the expectation. So Hillary can win, but if she doesn't win at a certain level, perhaps she's losing by winning. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to watching this with you tonight, Fernando. Me too. Thank you so much, Doug. All right. Thank you. Donna and Stan, back to you guys.